Of course, there there are those dimensions to synth mysticism where you simply create a patch that is sufficiently con- complex, sufficiently complex and perhaps organic, that it feels alive. It feels very much like a living entity. And that's something that I think we've all experienced, you know, as explorers in the synth mystic domain i think we've all had that experience where we suddenly turn on the synthesizer and we convince ourselves that what is issuing forth is some kind of alien intelligence i know i've certainly been there you know maybe having eaten certain psychedelic substances we are perhaps more prone to such such suggestions issuing forth from our synthesizers the notion that maybe they are being used by an alien intelligence to communicate with us um now regardless of the truth of such scenarios i can say that having convinced myself that an alien intelligence was communicating with me through my synthesizer and having later realized that perhaps that may not have been the case, I still do not judge myself for having entered into such conclusions that an alien intelligence is issuing forth from my synthesizer. Because I think that sense that, that an external intelligence was coming from my synthesizer or, or speaking through my synthesizer is one that allowed me to more deeply engage with the patch. It, it, it allowed me to have a heightened experience of that patch. And therefore, its truth doesn't really matter. If I, I think if you manage to convince yourself that an alien intelligence is communicating through your synthesizer, and I'm, and you know, look. As I said, this, I'm, I don't pretend that this is something that is unique to me. I know many synthesis that have experienced that, where you, where you believe that an alien intelligence is is speaking to you through your synthesizer. So you know, I know it's a common experience. And and I, what I'm urging us all to do as mystical synthesis is not to judge ourselves for having entered into such conclusions. Um, you know, when we are perhaps a little more sober in our judgment, not to not to be too judgmental of the the psychedelic self that came to that conclusion, because it was a conclusion that allowed for a heightened engagement with our instruments. And that's what we're all aspiring to. Aspiring to, I think, particularly synth mystics, we're aspiring to this heightened form of engagement with synthesis. And, um, and, and there are many paths to get there. There are many ways of, of finding that heightened form of engagement with our instrument.